Well, it's got to be Tyler. Who else could it be? Yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah. Thanks. For nothing. Well, what did they say? There's no evidence, so coppers can't do a thing. They can't prove anything exactly the same as we thought. That's absurd. Well, what do they want? A signed confession? Oh, didn't you know, Lee? We're putting two and two together and making five here. Is that what they said? What they implied. So until the court case is over, I'm still an orphan target? No, you're not. We're not letting you out of our sight today. Well, I can take him to work with me. Imran won't mind. Oh, stay with me if it helps. No, no, he's staying with me. Look, if Tyler's lot try anything else, I'm better equipped to deal with it. Can't argue with that. Oh, just be careful, Peter. The police should deal with this. But, Leanne, that is exactly what they're not doing. So you come to the factory with me, you can earn some extra pocket money while you're at it, OK? All right. I'll go get ready. Good lad. Peter, I'm not sure about this. What? Well, if you go in with your fists flying, it could only make things worse. Leanne, they started this. He's staying with me. I was just going to see you. Oh, so much for the grieving widow. Shouldn't you be in mourning instead of swanning about and going off on cruises? You haven't the faintest idea about my faith or what my husband meant to me. Rana needs her passport for our trip. She's left it at your flat. Why can't she just go and get it herself? I would have thought that was obvious under the circumstances. <sighs> OK, I'll spell it out for you. She doesn't want to see you right now. And I'm supposed to run back there and get it because you snap your fingers. Let's just get it over and done with, shall we? I'm busy right now. OK, well, I'll tell her that you're behaving like a child who can't get her own way. <sighs> Come by the bistro at lunchtime. I'll have it by then. You're too kind. Stuck with the shop, then. Yeah. Are you sure you're going to be able to manage looking there and doing your MA? Oh, uh, actually, I meant to tell you. What? I didn't get onto the MA. I found out yesterday. What? Why didn't you tell me? I don't know. I was. I think I was embarrassed. Well, well, does this mean that it's the end, or? Oh, no, 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 no. I can reapply again next year. I think I almost got on. It was just full. Anyway, look on the bright side. At least this way I can throw myself into the shop. Hey, have you got a minute? Only, uh, you said you'd be doing alterations as well as selling stuff when you open the shop. Yeah? Yeah, well, I was wondering if you could take this in for me and stitch the lining where it's torn. Cheeky of me, I know, but thought if it brings a bit of business your way. Uh, yeah, let me have a look. Right, so it's a couple of inches too big round the waist. Mm. Oh, oh, that's the tear there, see? Yeah, I can do, I suppose. And, uh, to be an even bigger nuisance. I need it for tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah, for a vow renewal ceremony I'm going to. Will that be a problem? Um, the thing is, I'm going to need a better machine. My one at home might snap this. Oh. Can't you do it under the wire at work? J just leave it with me. I'll, I'll manage somehow. You sure? Yeah. Thanks ever so. Bye. Am I doing the right thing, or...? Well, if we are going to be stuck with the shop, we might as well make the most of it. I'm sorry about last night. It's fine, it's not a problem. I've forgotten it already, honestly. No, you went to all that trouble and I ran away. Yeah, because you weren't ready for it. I shouldn't have sprung it on you like that. So, which one at work today? Don't we need to talk about this? Do we? Why? Oh, because that's what we agreed yesterday and we're not going to get anywhere otherwise. Look, I was in the wrong. That's enough, isn't it? Cheers. Only me! Shh. George is having a rare sleep in. Oh, that's nice for you both. And uh, Angie's off to work. Oh, that's nice too. Although no rest for the wicked, eh? Right. Have a nice See you day. Later. On this last day of August. See you, love. You haven't told her, have you? Are you mad? Well, she seemed a little bit distant from me. She's a lot on at work, that's all. Oh, well, if you've got time, I'd love to run through what we've got left to do before tomorrow. Yeah, fine. <sighs> You know, it's so much easier now that, you know, I was struggling to keep it a secret, but now we can plan it together. You are still committed to this. I said, didn't I? But you've had a night to sleep on it. So... Mom, I think it's a fantastic idea. I want to give her the best day ever. So come on, let's get cracking. <laughs>
So we've got a new girl starting today, Ellie and Amos. Okay. So we show her the ropes. Yeah, no problem. She's done three years at Bracewell, so she should be all right. Well, that's good, actually, because with Fizz being off, we're a bit short staffed. Fizz? Yeah, her and Tyra are doing up Jack's bedroom. Oh, Coming on tomorrow. Anyway, don't worry, I'll make sure she's all right. Hey, sir. I'm sorry. Hey. Hiya, Si. How are you after yesterday? Your dad told me about it. I've been better. Mm. I thought you could help him pack you. Slave labour, I love it. Oh, so I do get some things right. Right, where do I start? Well, I tell you what, you can start off by making me and you a nice cup of tea and then I'll be through, okay? <laughs> Go on. Oh, kid. Uh, so, there's a new girl getting on then. Ellie, yeah, yeah. Should be all right. Better than the Tina looker, like, I bet. Do you really think I'd fall for that? I don't know what you mean. Oh, come on. You were testing me, you were setting me up, I know that. I didn't know what she looked like. No, but when you did, you thought, oh, just see how he reacts, see what he does. I know. Mm. I want this business to work, you know that. And the sooner you get that into your head, the better. Beep, beep. Hello, Ellie. Mm, what have you got there? Oh, um, something you shouldn't have. <laughs> no. <laughs> Good. Ah. It's your first date. Yeah. Ah, there's a sight to brighten the day. Uh, look, I know I shouldn't have texted you last night. No, 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 sorry. It's just Simon. What was happening? Oh, Tyler's gang tried to grab him last night. What do you mean? They were wearing masks and they tried to grab him in, drag him into a car. No. Yeah, and they would have done all if Kate hadn't stepped in. God, that's terrible. Yeah, and the police have said, because there's no evidence, there's nothing they can do. So now Peter reckons he's going to sort it all out himself. That would not be a clever thing to do. Yeah, I know. I've already told him that. Hey, 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 come here. <sighs> and they've got a good case against this guy, yeah? Mm-hmm. And if there is even a whiff of witness intimidation... Yeah, I know, but I just feel like we can't relax, you know, till it's all over. It soon will be. Oh, well, I best be off. Got a drunk driver to defend. Yeah, yeah, good luck. Four times over the legal limit. Oh. I'll need it. <laughs> See ya. I was uh, <clears throat> just filling him in about uh, Simon. Oh, yeah, I heard about that. How is he? Well, he's bearing up. I um, didn't get that kind of attention when I was upset. Uh, well, we sort of had a thing. Had a thing? Well, we're having a thing, but you, you won't say anything, will you? <laughs> it's none of my business. Just can't remember the last time I felt like that. Why is things still not good with Jude? Yeah. What made you guess? Hey, Sai, you're doing really well here. Dad will be made up. So are you and him back together then? What? No. You're all the business, so you didn't worry. Well, I wouldn't mind if you were. Oh my gosh. I finally got your seal of approval. Well, I'd rather you than Sawyer. <coughs> That's not a nice thing to say about your auntie, is it? Well, I mean, I don't mind her. Well, you shouldn't either. I mean, she's, um... Well, she saved Eccles, didn't she? And, uh She... Oh, she got you a place in Cornwall with Ken, yeah? <laughs> hey. Hey, your son is doing a sterling job, might I say? Excellent. But I'm going to have to drag him away, I'm afraid. Oh. Why? Well, I've got to get this material. If I don't, we'll never get this order out today. Oh, really? Why do I have to go? Because I'm keeping my eye on you, you know why. Well, I'm busy doing this. Well, you can do it when you get back. Listen, I'm going nowhere. I can't look after him. Really? Mm. Oh, OK. Yeah, great. go and get your material. Yeah, I think we're even lower than we thought. No, it's fine, Sal. I'm on it. Hey, uh, what do you think of the new girl, then? Fabulous. Hey, you got a real gem there. I would have thought it, eh? What's your name? What's that? Uh, 
It's just a coat that needs a quick alteration. Oh, is it? Why don't you get back to what I pay you to do? Stay behind at lunch, because I want to wear with you. Are you prepared to do that? Just walk away if she goes on this trip? Michelle told me to be more understanding yesterday. Now, Ron is asking for a passport. Do you want my advice? Go on. I don't think that you can make Rana choose between you and her mum. Did you try to abduct her? Yeah. But do you think she'd try and do it again? Rana's dad's just died, remember? Yeah, I know. Mother's all she's got left now. She doesn't want to lose her. She's prepared to lose me, though. Yeah, but come on. It's only because you've given her this ultimatum. She didn't ask for that. She wants to have both of you. She gave up a marriage as well for you, don't forget. And she's gone against her faith. That's how much she cares for you. I'd think really hard before I threw that away. Sheets in here, then I'll just finish the tidying up. Hey, never knew you were such a debut with a paintbrush. Do our place next time. Oh, yeah, don't <laughs> push your luck. and double-check everything's OK before I bring him back tomorrow. Not that I don't trust you. <laughs> <laughs> don't be daft. We finished his bedroom. Were they? Yeah, go through if you like. Oh, I don't know what I said. That was amazing. Well, just having the final tidy up, then you'll be all good to go. Uh, you don't have to do that. No? No, we watched the game of Foster the other day and he really enjoyed it. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah, it's a start. Oh, yeah. I bet you're hungry, eh? Yeah, famished. Right, how about I need to devs? I'll fix you something to eat. Yeah, great. I'll go and have a deco Jack's bedroom. <laughs> no, I did the last one. No, go. Fine, fine, I'm going. Come on, come on. Thank you. I hope you meant it. I'm sorry? When you told Rana that you try and accept her relationship with me. Or is that one of your little games to get her on side? You can try every trick in the book. You won't split us up. I haven't a clue what you're talking about. I understand you have trouble accepting our relationship. You have your beliefs and I have to respect that. No, really, I do. But our love for each other is genuine. And if you want her a part of your life for good, not just for the next few weeks, you're going to have to accept that so we can all move forward. Because when you get home, I will be waiting for it. Have you finished? One more thing. If you hurt her in any way, I will hunt you down. Even if it takes the rest of my life, I will find you and I will make you pay. Do you understand? Have a good trip. How are you getting on? Yeah, good. Have you called the caterers? That's all under control. Oh, fine and dandy, eh? What could possibly go wrong? I, I just hope Angie likes these flowers. I mean, she wasn't very keen on the first lot I did. Trouble is, how do we know what she would like? Uh, because you're her husband, Jude. Haven't you figured that out by now? What I mean is, we have to be certain. Yeah, I'll take that as a no. No, I, I agree with Jude. Figuring out what kind of flowers she prefers is the least of your problems. She's going to go nuts when you spring this on her. I think I know my wife better than you, thank you very much. And she loves a surprise. Nobody in their right mind would want this kind of surprise. And in public, with everybody gawping at her. It's called being romantic. I wouldn't expect you to understand that, Tracy. The number of times you've been round the block. Knocked all the romance out of you. Have you not thought that when it comes to the big moment, she might actually say no? Not for one second. Oh, well, I'll give you this, Jude. You are a great liar. If you have nothing positive to say, Tracy, I suggest you say nothing at all. OK, fine. Don't say I didn't warn you. You do think this will work, don't you? Of course I do. <clears throat> 
So what's this place like in Liverpool? Where is that? Yeah, it's fantastic. All geared up for kids like, well, like he is now. Sounds good. Some good mates as well. One lad in particular, but of course, it's so like being there, isn't it? You know, where they're all in the same boat. When he gets back here, he'll be the only one. Yeah, but people will rally round, mate. I mean, if there's anything me and Fizz can do, then you just got to ask. You can't give him a new foot, can you? I'm sorry. That's all right. You know what? I'm positive all the time in front of him. I've got to be, but sometimes when I'm on my own. Yeah. Well, it's what you like when you're with him that matters. And we're serious. If it gets too much, we can help out, can't we, Ty? Yeah, yeah, we'll give you a break. Yeah, just got to be patient, I guess. I nearly said till things get back to normal, but... Till you find a new normal, anyway. How does that sound? <laughs> I've been to that. There we go. <laughs> Six months for drunk driving. Mm-hmm. Third offence. How'd he take it? Well, he was sober for once, so not well. Right. Anything from the calf? I'm okay, thanks. Angie? Hmm? Anything from Roy's? Oh, sorry, no, thanks, I'm good. Is everything okay? Yeah. Sure about that? Things still rough for Jude? Got it in one. I'm sorry to hear that. Don't worry, I'm not going to throw myself at you again. You're working through it, right? Yeah, we're trying. Went to counselling for a bit. Did it help? Not really. Just... I don't know, I just feel like I'm at the end of my tether. And I feel like I'm in limbo with a guy I used to think was wonderful. And it's even worse because he's trying so hard. If you feel like you've tried everything and it's still not happening. You think I should cut my losses? Well, that's a good way of putting it, but... Right, Si, I need your computer expertise again. Oh, yeah. Yeah, printer's playing up. <laughs> Just one second. So... How long have you been moonlighting without asking my permission? I haven't. No, and you won't be doing it again, either. How do you think you were going to get away with it? I don't know. Right. Well, Sinead, I'm docking you a morning's pay, and if I catch you... Sorry, Mrs Connor, I'm, uh, I'm not feeling too well. Oh, how convenient. Hang on, is this for real? Please, will you ring Daniel? He, um... He rang me a couple of minutes ago from the bistro. Just take it easy, sit down. Deep breaths. Sinead, he's not picking up. Please, can you take me to him? Just sit down for a minute, OK? I can't leave the building, all right? I promised Peter that I wouldn't take my eyes off Simon. I'll be fine. What's the worst can happen? I'm only gone a couple of minutes, won't me in. Please, Mrs Connor, I need to be with him. Just... OK, listen, do not answer that door to anybody but me or your dad, all right? I won't, don't worry. It won't be a minute. Hi, um, I forgot some of my stuff. I thought I'd get it while you were out. No, it's fine. I just... I wanted to say sorry for the pressure I've been putting you under lately. OK. It was wrong of me. You need to make amends with your mum. And I hope this time away helps. OK. I love you. I love you too. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Can't wait till you get back. Love me. <laughs> Okay, yeah. I will. Perfect timing. I'm just fixing lunch. You sit down. Now, Mum has taken George for a walk, so that's good. And I have made your favourite salad. 
Now, what do you want to go with it? Water, juice? Jude. Maybe something stronger? Jude, just stop. We should talk. We talk all the time. No, we don't. Look, miracles don't happen overnight. Yeah, I know that. It's still early days. There's bound to be bumps in the road until we get it right. We just need to stick at it. No, Jude, we need to face facts. You know as well as I do that this marriage is over. There's nothing we can do to save it now. Women. We know you're in there, Simon. And we know you're alone too. We've been watching. So you better open this door. Open this door! We'll break it down and we'll come and get you. Still gonna leave it with you now? Yeah. I'm sorry I missed your call. My phone was on mute for some reason. Have you had these kind of turns before? Uh, no. Okay, listen, I've gotta go. Oh. Simon? Do not open that door! Sai, just hold on, I'll be right with you. Hey. Sai! What's wrong? Still there. I've locked you in the factory. Where's Simon? Tyler's after him. What? On his own? Just for five minutes. Promise him right? look at I know, him. I know. Sai, right, you there? Coronation Street continues in half an hour.